Hey guys, this is Dr. Israb with Integrative Kidney Solutions again, and today I'm going to be talking to you about inflammation, the leaky gut, and kidney health. So recently, researchers have found an exciting link between our lifestyle and kidney health. And the most exciting relationship is between uh, the health of our GI tract, or what we call our gut, and kidney disease. This is, has been referred to as the gut kidney access. And uh, different factors has been described as causing a compromise to the integrity of the intestine of the lining of the intestines. Uh, these are uh, these factors include diet, exposure to toxins, and even medications. We're going to talk about this later in this video, but uh, this makes the lining of the intestines more leaky. And this has been described as increased intestinal permeability. And it's commonly described as leaky gut. So what is leaky gut? So leaky gut, um, our, our normal GI tract has um, a, a normal barrier that uh, serve to protect the gut and ensure proper absorption of nutrients and uh, elimination of toxins. This barrier interact and serve to protect the integrity of the microbiome or the bacteria that resides within our gut. So what I'm telling you is that our gut want to protect the bacteria that resides within it. Listen to this. Our gut contains 3.8 trillion bacteria, which is more than the total number of cells in our whole body. There are actually good bacteria that lives in our GI system and work with our body to maintain good health. They digest nutrients, they produce vitamin, they detoxify toxins, and they even maintain the health of the lining of the gut. So the gut maintain the health of this bacteria and the bacteria maintain the health of the lining of the gut. So, as the phrase implies, leaky gut describes when the cells that make the lining of the GI tract have a micro separations or small separations that um, are small enough to allow the content of the gut to leak into the body. And uh, this is a big problem because it reduces the absorption of nutrients. It also causes toxins to seep in into the systemic um, circulation, which leads to systemic inflammation. And inflammation is the response of our immune system that looks at these leaked substances and uh, see them as a threat. This increased inflammatory response has been linked to actually uh, many diseases, including diabetes and kidney disease, among many other diseases. So what causes leaky gut? If I want you to remember two things from this talk or this video is processed food and high sugar food. Processed food is, think about it, is everything that is altered from its natural state or is packaged. So food like bread, cereal, lunch meat, or even protein bars are considered processed food. And processing actually strip the food from its nutrients that are usually available in their uh, natural or live form. Um, and on top of that, oftentimes it adds sugars um, and glycemic load, spiking our blood sugar and insulin levels, which contribute to diabetes and metabolic disease. Also, food that is high in sugar, such as sodas, juice, uh, and sweets, contribute to inflammation and leaky gut. In fact, a recent study showed that kidney disease patients who consumed what they called pro-inflammatory diet has 1.55 times uh, the increase the risk of going into kidney failure requiring dialysis than those who did not. And this diet included tomatoes, carbonated beverages, processed meat, red meat, organ meat, fish other than dark meat fish. So what about food sensitivity? Um, there, we're not talking here about food allergies. Food allergies is, uh, actually can be very serious and life-threatening and uh, can appear as rash or hives and progress to death and, and shortens of breath or even death. 
but what we're talking about is actually sensitivities. These are less severe and are usually um, not life-threatening. However, they do cause increased inflammation and leaky gut. The most common food that can cause this is well known as gluten, uh, and dairy also can do that, soy, peanuts, corn, and eggs. Uh, for many people who have sensitivity to these um, foods, these type of foods, even a short period of elimination can reduce inflammation and heal the leaky gut. Also, caffeine and, and alcohol can, um, can lead to leaky gut and uh, be irritating to the, um, to the gut. And oftentimes, um, tolerance can vary because uh, our, every individual has genetic um, factors that affect um, how they digest or, or how they metabolize caffeine and alcohol. So oftentimes you find individual um, or, or, or guidelines are various from studies to studies and, and it's hard to develop in, um, universal guidelines for uh, uh, consumption of uh, caffeine and alcohol. But in general, even reducing the consumption or removing these triggers can uh, help uh, healing the gut and eliminate inflammation. So also eating the wrong type of fat can be injurious to the, to the intestines. So just like uh, processed carbohydrates can be damaging to the uh, gut, processed fat also um, can be inflammatory. The good news, however, is that consumption of anti-inflammatory fat can help reverse this process and uh, anti-inflammatory fat includes polyunsaturated fats such as olive oil, omega-3 fats uh, found in fish, fish nuts, and uh, avocado. Uh, but those who have uh, high potassium problems, they should uh, make sure to watch out when they consume avocado. Um, also, in addition to that, medications can be irritating to the gut and can cause leaky gut. And these um, include... Um, NSAIDs or anti-inflammatory, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication like uh, ibuprofen, naproxen, uh, etc. And uh, they have been found to um, cause increased um, uh, inflammation and uh, increased incidence of leaky gut. Also steroids themselves, which are actually used many times to, uh, to treat inflammation, can be found to uh, cause uh, irritation of the uh, gut um, barrier and many antibiotics also can do that but we advise that um, none of you stop taking any medication without talking to your physicians first for more information please follow us at www.inkidney.com Sign up to our newsletter or subscribe to our YouTube channel.